Hey everyone, how you doing today? We are the Real Estate Ladies of North Atlanta, Mary Ellen Vinokin, Sue Jennings, and we're here to talk about today um, the current real estate market and how, how buyers and sellers can work with the challenges and opportunities in the market right now. Welcome, Sue. How are you today? Good. How are you doing, Mary Ellen? I'm doing fantastic. We're going to talk about market trends and the current home prices and inventory. So in um, 2024, and these uh, anything I quote is as of April of 2024, uh, the median sales price in Metro Atlanta rose about 3.8% over the past year to wow. 410,000 as of April 2024. Wow. And this price increase is coupled with a significant rise in new and active listings. And there's a, it's a very competitive market out there for buyers. Yeah, How are your buyers is. doing, Mary Ellen? <laughs> yeah, you know, I mean, so it, the market is, is, is so interesting. And, and like we said, every four years when there's an election going on, there's always some interesting things going on in the market. So we're here to analyze. And honestly, it could be like one subdivision next to another subdivision and the market could be totally different in those subdivisions. Absolutely. So that's why you need someone who's looking at the market each and every day, each and every week and giving you an update of what's going on in the market. So there are definitely opportunities in the market and there's also challenges in the market. So, right. Um, right. you know, that we can just dig into some of that if you want. Right, right. Well, Atlanta as a whole is a very diverse area with a lot of pockets of different personalities of different types of homes, lifestyle, mm -hmm. and everything else. I mean, the south side of Atlanta is very different than the north side of Atlanta, and the east side and the west side have their own personalities as well. Mary Ellen and I primarily focus on the north side of Atlanta, the north metro area, which uh, we predominantly stay between um, I-75 and I-85 on the east and west sides of Atlanta. It's interesting, Atlanta is the only city I know that has this incredible major flow through from north to south on I-75 and I-85 that all come together in um, the connector downtown. in downtown Atlanta yeah. and create a ton of traffic going through downtown Atlanta. But Anyway, we've had a challenge this past year of inventory. Inventory has been a real challenge for our buyers. Yeah, inventory, inventory, definitely. Um, and, and the quality of the inventory too, as well, because mm -hmm. I still feel like sellers are in the mindset of, I can put my house in the market and get a hundred thousand dollars more for it, yada, yada, yada. So they have that mindset where, you know, we want to find the quality houses for our buyers at a great, a good price, not overpaying. Right. So I think a lot of concerns of buyers right now is they don't want to overpay for a house. And right. I think what they need to understand that in the Atlanta market, historically, we every year prices of homes rise. So right. you're not going to be losing money if you buy a house now and sell it in five years. You know, so really just educating them on that market and kind of just explaining the market to them because right. there's always opportunity no matter what you're looking at. Right. And, and in that those markets, we see a real swing from neighborhood to neighborhood of days on market, like you mentioned before. Um, you know, between South Fulton and Sandy Springs, they're very different markets. You can see something fly off the market in two days or 23 days and then sit for 120 days in, in other markets. Um, it really, you know, a lot is dependent upon the quality of the schools, uh, how easy the commute is into the city and lifestyle as well. We've got a lot of people here that are very focused on, you know, live, work, play lifestyles or, you know, just their lifestyle of wanting to ride horses or equestrian or play golf or tennis. We've got a lot of communities that are swim, tennis uh, oriented communities, which is great. They've got wonderful amenities, but right. not all neighborhoods are created equal. Yeah, that, that is definitely true. And I would say on the North side, we do have a lot of golf courses and a lot of tennis and pickleball and lifestyle is important. And people are trying to simplify, simplify their lives. So they're trying to find something that, you know, they don't, 